So it sounds an awful lot like this creator is trying to equate Amazon One's payment system with the mark of the beast. And if so, this is remarkably misguided and ignorant. It is 100% not the mark of the beast, and there are two main reasons for this. The first reason is that this is just measuring the veins under the surface of the skin of the palm of your hand. Nobody is receiving anything. This payment system works with your body as it already exists. It's just another way to use biometric data to identify someone. So it's definitely not what is described in the book of Revelation as the mark of the beast. The second reason it's definitely not the mark of the beast is because the mark of the beast was not a prophecy about the future. There's no such thing as the mark of the beast. Never has been, never will be. It was just a way to exhort followers of Jesus at the end of the first century CE to greater fidelity to their community and to keep themselves unspotted from the wicked Roman Empire. And the mark is conflating a bunch of different pieces of symbolism. We have this idea of a mark being put on the forehead of people who follow a certain deity. It marks them as their property, their enslaved people, and it also marks them as under the protection of that given deity. And we see this in the story at the beginning of Ezekiel 9 about someone going through and marking everybody on the forehead who's upset about the wickedness in Jerusalem, and then God sends executioners in to execute anybody who does not have the mark. It also has to do with buying and selling, and that has to do with Roman coinage, which would have been exchanged with the right hand, and that contains the image and the name of the emperor. And the number and name of the beast was almost certainly using gematria to encode a reference to Nero or to multiple emperors who were considered particularly wicked at the end of the first century CE. And then the idea of the hand and the forehead also resonates with the command to keep the law on one's hand and on their forehead, which resulted in the practice of phylacteries that were already in use by the first century CE. So this is all imagery having to do with the end of the first century CE. It was all ways to evoke an emotional response on the part of the audience in the late first century CE, and it has absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with anything that would happen after the end of the first century CE. So there's no mark of the beast coming, and the Amazon One payment system is definitely not it. And the folks who continue to so blithely appeal to these asinine conspiracy theories need to grow up and stop using fear-mongering as credibility-enhancing displays. And the fit for this video has been Dale Keown's Incredible Hulk.